Generative AI has on one hand empowered organizations to realize productivity gains, and on the other hand has created a trust gap with data privacy model accuracy risks. AI agents are the new automation building block, pairing AI with automation to expand process automation capabilities far beyond rules-based work. AI Agent Studio is the first no-code AI destination for creating custom AI agents for cognitive tasks. No data scientist required. Part of the AI and automation enterprise system, AI Agent Studio connects with your enterprise architecture to work with your models, your applications, and your environments. Built-in AI governance bridges the trust gap, simplifying compliance and risk management activities with complete traceability of activities when using AI. Our open and flexible platform allows you secure access to the foundation models and fine-tuned LLMs. Let's start by grounding you in what an AI agent is. When you combine the power of thinking, AI, with action, automation, you are able to supercharge your solutions with the power of AI agents. AI agents enable you to connect to different foundational generative AI models and combine those with your own enterprise data to improve the quality of the response from the models via our AI skills. You can tune the prompts you send to models and then share those for reuse across your solutions. Once you have a model response, combining it with the power of automation allows you to get the most out of your generative AI investment by taking action. Sitting underneath every AI agent is our secure AI governance layer that allows you to responsibly scale your usage of generative AI through governance controls that enable you to ensure proper usage of generative AI models across the organization, while also providing insight into every prompt and response interaction across your solutions. AI Agent Studio lets you easily build AI agents that combine the power of generative AI with action. With AI Agent Studio, you can connect to leading Gen AI models, securely deploy them within your organization, govern who can access models for use, evaluate different models for their performance in your specific use case, and templatize and share prompts as reusable AI skills. AI skills enable any pro developer or citizen developer to quickly embed generative AI capabilities in an easy, no-code approach without the need for sophisticated data science skill sets. Let's look at how one customer builds a support case handling process using AI Agent Studio. We'll start with Jake, our automation admin, who is going to create model connections from generative AI models that have been approved for use within his organization. He'll share those model connections with Marcus, our pro developer, who has been working on an AI skill that allows this particular solution to take the sentiment of an inbound support case and score it. Once he is happy with the results of that prompt and that model, he'll share that AI skill with Sue, our citizen developer, who can add that AI skill to an AI agent she has been working on within a service operations process. And lastly, Rochelle, our GRC lead, will be able to get deep insights as she audits the model interactions that took place during the execution. We'll begin as Jake. Jake is an automation admin and is responsible for making generative AI foundational models available for use within the automation solutions his company uses. Jake starts by utilizing the model connections capabilities within AI Agent Studio, which allow him to securely connect to foundational models and publish these for use within his organization. We know that customers want the flexibility to experiment with and choose different foundational models for use within their solutions. AI Agent Studio makes it easy to connect to different models, control who can access these models across the organization, and provide the governance controls that provide full visibility into all of the foundational model interactions being used across different teams and departments building running automations. Jake has already created model connections for different teams within the organization, such as legal, operations, marketing, and support. The support operations team has been working on a new service operations solution and hasn't been happy with the performance of their current model, and they have asked Jake to provide access to a new model for the team to evaluate. Jake clicks on Create Model Connection to get started. 
Jake enters information about the name and description of the model connection as well as selects a vendor and model to connect to. Jake provides the authentication details and ensures that all information is sourced from the A360 credential vault to ensure centralized control of this information. Jake tests the connection to confirm the credentials provided are accurate and then shares the model connection with a role that Marcus is in. Jake finalizes by clicking Create Model Connection once the wizard is completed. Let's now switch to Marcus, our pro developer, and see how he can utilize that model connection and AI skill that he has been working on. Marcus has been notified that he has been given access to a new LLM model for use in his service operation scenario. So he goes into the repository in his A360 tenant to update the prompt template he has been working on. Marcus sees a prompt template called Tone Detection within his folder and opens that to continue working on it. Marcus sees the progress of the prompt template that he's been working on, but he hasn't been happy with the responses from the current model. Within this screen, he can see the model he is connected to, custom configuration settings for that model that he can change to influence the responses, the prompt that is meant to determine the tone of the text, inputs into the prompt template that will be used later by an automation developer to pass in runtime data in the service operations automation. Marcus hits the Get Response button to evaluate the response of the current model. Still unhappy with the result, Marcus decides to use the new model connection that Jake just created to see if the response improves. Marcus clicks on the Choose button next to the name of the current model connection and is presented with a model that shows all the model connections he has access to. The newest connection that Jake provisioned and shared is at the top, and he clicks on that. With the new model selected, Marcus hits the Get Response button again to evaluate if the response from this new model has improved. You can see that the response is much more improved. It gives him more detail around tone and more information around sentiment, as well as great summary information. Marcus is happy with this new result and will save and share this for use within the automation that Sue is building. Sue is a citizen developer and has heard about generative AI, but doesn't know much about what foundational models are, how they work, or how to get started with them. However, she has been told by Marcus that these models are fantastic at accomplishing tasks such as text summarization, which could be useful in the service operations automation that she is building. Sue chose to implement this use case in a process because this is a long running operation that will utilize multiple different AI agents to complete the task at hand triaging inbound support emails and either taking immediate action by creating a case or providing the customer with support options. Sue has already added an AI agent to her process and opens the agent to finish configuring it with the new AI skill Marcus provided. Sue has begun to design the components of this agent using both an AI skill and action. In this case, she added the steps for creating a case in Salesforce when the sentiment of an email is at or below a specific threshold. However, she could have also used Automation Copilot to build this out for her. Sue doesn't have much experience working with generative AI models, but she does know that Marcus has created one for her to help detect the tone and sentiment of an email message that she can use within her AI skill. Sue adds the AI skill to the canvas and configures the step. Sue sees that she can configure the step to utilize the AI skill that Marcus built. She starts by selecting the AI skill. This is the template that has been created and shared with her based upon her permissions and ensures that just like model connections, only the correct users, teams, or departments are integrating with permitted LLM models within the organization. Sue sees a list of different AI skills that have been shared with her, and she selects the one for sentiment analysis that was recommended by Marcus. With the skill selected, Sue can see the details of the prompt that will be sent to the model and that she can include data from the inbound support email with the available input. Next, Sue will also record the tone rating from the model. She'll use this to make a decision on the path of the support ticket. For emails with a high tone rating, she will route this to a human for immediate review 
And for lower tone rating issues, those can be attempted to be solved with some recommended articles from the company's knowledge base. Back in the process, Sue will use the results from the AI agent, the combination of an AI skill and action, to make a decision. If a case was created, the process will notify a support agent to immediately address the case. If this was a lower priority item, Sue will use another AI agent that utilizes Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, to collect knowledge base articles from the company's documentation system and provide those as a solution to the customer automatically without getting a human support engineer involved. AI Agent Studio allows you to utilize the Automation Anywhere Enterprise Knowledge RAG service or you can bring your own. Now let's fast forward a few weeks after Sue has deployed her new support operations solution into production to see how this new solution has impacted the customer support team. In the legacy approach, customers would send emails to a centralized support inbox that L1 customer support agents would have to manually monitor and then decide if they could address the issue or if they needed to create a case in Salesforce for the L2 team to review and address. This caused unnecessary delays in issue resolution and led to customer frustration. In the solution that Sue built, customer support emails still come into a centralized inbox. However, now we have Automation Anywhere processes that monitor that inbox and engage AI agents to initially triage the message so that it can either be routed to a human customer service agent for resolution, or if the agent detects a positive sentiment, attempt to resolve the case via grounded enterprise knowledge base articles. This new approach has improved the customer experience by increasing the speed at which these customer issues are being addressed, while also freeing up the L1 team to focus on other, higher priority issues within the team. Next, with the solution deployed, we'll see how Rochelle can ensure that the AI governance guardrails for this solution can be evaluated. Jake's organization has strict policies for use of AI. He has been advised by the InfoSec team to provide data related to the use of AI within automations. He can now do this by enabling data logging so that all the prompts and model responses are stored securely for insights that can be shared with his governance and compliance teams. Additionally, as part of our next release, Jake will be able to configure the ability to disable logging at a prompt template for certain prompt templates that are very sensitive in nature. We designed our platform to be open and flexible so you can have secure access to many large language models, or LLMs, both foundation and fine-tuned models. Trusting generative AI with your customer data while balancing the benefits of generative AI is challenging. With AI governance, we help you build with AI safely and responsibly to realize the productivity gains. Rochelle, the company's GRC lead, is focused on ensuring compliance with responsible AI usage policies set forth by her company. Thanks to Jake, he had enabled data logging. All the activities performed by Marcus and Sue have been captured providing complete traceability. Rochelle, with her elevated access permissions through her role, can view all the data pertaining to model interactions when Marcus and Sue executed the automations powered by AI. She uses AI governance prompt logs to view all the activities that took place in the last 24 hours. Rochelle is concerned about the safety and the privacy of the sensitive data used within the prompts. She is also concerned with the risks users and the applications are exposed to when model responses are not accurate or relevant. She drills down into each execution to review the prompts that are being used as well as the model responses to ensure they are adequate to prevent any unintended outcomes. She drills down into the model details to assess the temperature top P and other parameters to understand the model accuracy and relevance. With safety features built in, Rochelle is able to ensure that only approved models are being used within automations, gauge the accuracy and adequacy of the models to promote responsible use of AI along with securing sensitive data through data masking, which will be available in a later release. With complete audit and traceability of the AI events, Rochelle can now view every model interaction that took place when the automations were executed. Rochelle wants to offline review all the data for her reports. She is able to do so via the export feature as well as by forwarding the log data to her integrated SIM platform for deeper analysis of the data to better understand the model accuracy and relevance all in one place, simplifying the GRC activities. 
With the power of AI governance and trust service Bell 10, Rochelle's organization is able to build with AI safely and responsibly while realizing the productivity gains and ensuring that they are in compliance with regulatory frameworks. The company can now build smart automations using generative AI while ensuring governance and control over the usage of AI to remain compliant and protected against expensive data breaches. Without the need to invest in sophisticated data science skill sets, the company can build AI-powered smart automations using the no-code tools, all available through AI Agent Studio.